Hi, this is Jim Gibson with CableSupply.com and today we're going to talk about the difference between a switch and a hub. And uh, of course, here's a switch. Now how do you know it's a switch? I know it's a switch because it says switch. Besides that, hubs and switches look exactly alike. They all have these RJ45 ports in the back and um, they plug in the same. You want to plug your patch panel, no, not your patch panel, but your patch cords in here. And, um, and of course this would be back in your data room. And they come in all different sizes. Here's a bigger one. Here's a bigger one that fits on a rack, a, mag a rack mountable. Of course, you can rotate these and then you can put them up against the wall and bolt them to the wall. That will work also. But what is the difference between a switch and a hub? Well, let's take a look. I've got this diagram here. Here's a hub. Now, um, let's say this, these are computers, these little triangles here and the square is a printer. So this computer wants to send a job to the printer. So what it does is it sends the information to the hub because they're all connected together. That's the idea of a hub. And they were great things years ago, by the way. When hubs first came out, they were like wonderful that you could actually put these on a network. But that, that message goes down to the hub and it also the hub turns around and repeats the message and it sends it out to every single computer on the network. So each of these computers get a copy of that message that's really meant for the uh, printer over here. Uh, so what's happening there is when that message is sent, all these other computers here can't send any messages. They have to wait. And uh, they have to wait till no one else is sending a message and then they can send the message. So think of it like this. Think of it like uh, like a walkie-talkie. You push the walkie-talkie, you talk on it, but you got to release before anyone else on that network can actually talk back to you. So as long as you're talking on that on that uh, radio, no one else uh, can talk to you. No, one, you can't receive anything. No one else can receive anything but your message. So if you just want to talk to one person out there, and there's 50 people out there listening. They have to wait till you're quiet before they can speak, and all you're doing is talking to one person. So that is a hub. Very, very slow, very inefficient, a lot of problems. Also, that when it comes to cybersecurity, this guy over here can record everything you're doing on the network. So that doesn't help with cybersecurity. So that's a hub. You want to avoid them. I don't know if anybody's even selling them anymore, but if you have a hub in your phone room or in your data room, then you need to look at it. And again, most of the time they look exactly alike. Uh, you just have to read what's on the front of them. And uh, of course, all your printers and your devices plug in here, right in there. Now, let's go to a switch. Now, over here we have a switch. Let's say the same person is going to send a message to the printer. And here's the printer over here. Put a little P there for you. Um, what happens with a switch is a switch is smart. So when you send that message, it knows that the printer is attached to a particular port, and it learns that on its own. It knows uh, where everybody is. So it knows this is the port maybe that you're using for your printer. And these other ports are not uh, are other computers, let's say, or that are attached to your router for the Internet. So only the printer gets the message. So it frees up everyone else to have their own conversations at the same time. So at the same time as this person is sending out a message to the printer, this person out here could be sending a message or, or communicating uh, with this person over here. And it does not interfere because the switch is smart enough to keep the conversations going in one area. Now, I just explained that a hub is like talking on a uh, walkie-talkie, okay? You key the mic, no one else can talk. Everyone has to listen. Then when you release, other people can talk. The difference is, is this is like being on a telephone. You dial someone particularly, and you're only going to one person, and then you and that person can talk back and forth at the same time. And that's what happens on switches, not hubs. Hubs are just plain dumb repeaters. They don't do anything else. They just repeat everything that comes in one port. They send it out all the other ports. Switches don't do that. They know who's attached to each end, and they learn that on their own. They're self-learning. They learn it on their own. This is what you want. You want switches. And uh, now there's different types of switches, and we're just going to go over them real quick. But you have some switches 
that produce power coming out of them. And the power coming out of them is able to power a VoIP phone. Uh, uh, you know, a lot of people have VoIP phones now that go out to the cloud. And so it can actually power up the phone. That's where you get all the lights on the display and things like that. That's probably really good if you have those type of phones. Voice over IP using a, a switch that has what's called power over Ethernet and uh, PoE. And that's what you need. Also, uh, some switches are called managed switches where you can put VLANs on there. And that's for another video. We'll explain that. Uh, VLANs. You can put security on the switch so people cannot... Uh, eavesdrop on your conversations. There's a lot of other things a switch can do. So that's us uh, short and dirty on switches. Um, thank you for watching the video. I really appreciate it. Please give me a thumbs up and uh, you have a great day. Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim from CableSupply.com. Hi, this is Jim with CableSupply.com and today I'm going to show you how to cut a hole in the drywall. This is David signing out. You stay classy, Internet.